What was the cost though? Of this week, what was the cost? Like this week had, it had hands. It was trying to box me. Anyway. Welcome back to a new vlog. It is your good to ZX Online, as you know. But if you don't know, you know what to do. You'll get to know. You'll get to know. But it's a new vlog. <clears throat> I've taken a small, small break from vlogging, as I'm sure you guys realized. I went to Cape Town. I did the chilling thing. <laughs> and I'm back. I'm back, guys, with renewed strength. And funny data too much, but let's move on. Anyways, this morning, I'm going to go and get my next session of laser done. I'm burning up for some reason. I don't know why I'm so hot. Also, this day, guys, is not going very well as um, it's only literally 11.01. Firstly, we have a power, not a power, it's a water outage, meaning I couldn't shower this morning, which means insane journey. And what annoys me is like, this is my first month that I don't have my Vision Active membership. And at least if I still had it, I could go shower there. But now I don't have that that luxury so i literally didn't shower i had to do what we call a captain splash a one to bottle my shoe and just quickly clean myself up but i wasn't able to shave because you're supposed to shave the day of your um wa uh, laser appointment sorry and i wasn't able to shave so hopefully they're going to be able to shave me there because i mean there was literally nothing that i could do and then after that i've got loading from 12 to 4 which means i don't have a day like my day is over so guys, I'm dealing with a lot of problems right now, but hopefully everything will come together. I don't know about this hot flash that I'm experiencing. And yes, the hot flash. And yes, guys, I'm literally so hot. But guys, let's go so that I'm not late for my appointment. I want to be very much on time. I've given myself 30 minutes to get there, so hopefully we will make it. If I don't make it in 30 minutes, though, I'm the problem. But anyways, we'll catch up, see how the day goes, because right now it's not looking good. Guys. Guys. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't know what's happening today, but I'm doing so badly, guys. Even getting out the house after I closed that video, I couldn't find my house keys. My fly was down. Couldn't find my water bottle. Then again, I realized I caught Manzi, but luckily I had some in the freezer. Banza, 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 banza. You know what? I'm rebuking the devil because the devil's really trying to try me, and I rebuke in Jesus' name. It's going to be a better day. It's gonna be a bit of day. A few moments later. Guys, it's the way Marimba Pitch, Lady Amar, all of them, all of them were Spaziana. Like, are they insane? Are they crazy? Anyways, guys, I'm on time period um so let's head to get some laser done hopefully guys they're going to be able to help me out bye um being able to to shave for me but I, that's why i made sure that i'm very much in my punctual era so that we don't we don't have any problems see y'all inside Hey guys, we are at Lace Boutique. I forgot to show you guys the entrance, but I feel like you guys get it by now. I'm not gonna show you the same thing every single time I come here. But she also let me know that we're also getting a facial, which I didn't know I was getting, which would be a problem if I had anything to do after this. But since I have no chilling, I've got nothing. It's half past 11 right now. So literally I'm like, I might as well just do it now. I really have <laughs> nothing to lose. So that's pretty exciting. Keen to get my skin done. Also I love it for myself because I wasn't able to properly, properly, properly do my skincare because I was dealing with about like, this much water so that's amazing for me let me show you guys the room one more time in case you guys forgot this is a laser machine this is sort of how the room looks and yeah super simple but yeah On the day though. It wasn't sensitive. Yeah. Well, because normally the shaving sensitizes the skin, it's like an exfoliation. Yeah, yeah. 
But when you shaved yourself last time, you shaved yourself and didn't shave. Yeah. Did I? Yeah. And you shaved in the shower, right? Yeah. And I didn't dry shave. That's the difference. Mine is a bit stronger. Oh, okay. Is it fine? Much better. Okay. is insane guys it's literally so quick but she was saying she's in her extra energy era when it comes to me this time and I'm like why but for real yeah that was super super chilled super easy we're done um we're just gonna check on which facial facial exactly I'm getting I had been booked for the Cinderella facial but um she was saying like she feels like my skin could definitely use some vitamin C which you know what valid you know valid she knows what's best so she's gonna go check if we can switch to that which i would love she's just a bit of a peel for the girl um and you're all that's gonna be us it's gonna be us hi dolls so we came to Paul. i feel like this thing get gay but anyways we're at Paul um in morning sun shopping center I am so annoyed because I literally moved my car so that I could come and be like parked on top where the restaurants are. Came here, there was no parking, so I definitely paid for parking twice. This day, guys. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just got myself a, co a coffee. Um, I really want a mimosa, but like I'm trying to be a better human being. Do you know what I'm saying? So I got a coffee and I'm gonna have some breakfast slash lunch. This is my first meal so I'm very very hungry but as you guys can see this is how my skin looks after um, the vitamin C facial um, I did have to do some extractions on this side I had like a few active pimples it was like two or three from a recent uh, breakout it's like the breakout that you get after your period so yeah but yeah otherwise I'm very very happy with it she was just saying that I must take it easy on my skin this week which I definitely will be doing but sure, I'm just gonna eat, edit some of my snaps so I can post them for you guys and then probably head home since nothing else to do even though there's no electricity there. I'm at uh, the car wash. I figured since I have so much free time on my hands, I might as well come and get my car washed. Although there is a car wash uh, where I stay, um, I know that if I should go there and go get my car washed, I'm gonna get motivated to go to the lifestyle center, small coverage show. That's not really what I'm trying to do today. It's not really that deep. So I just decided that let's do a little quick wash and dry because I was in Cape Town for a week, literally, was it last week? Or the week before, child, whenever. Um, the outside is very, very dusty, musty, crusty. So I want to come and wash that. The inside is literally very much fine because I don't really have a lot of people riding in here. It's mostly just me, myself, and my baby Grace. <laughs> but yeah, we're chilling here so we can get our car washed. I'm in the line and yeah. <laughs> hey guys so we're back at home it's like much later on i'm chilling on the couch watching obsession guys you know me one thing about me again as i'm going to find something new to watch um i just finished love is blind i watched the reunion of which Wonkumudu had lost their black minds. Mostly the hosts. Mostly the hosts have lost their minds. <laughs> the hosts, Vanessa, Nick Lachey and Vanessa, mostly Vanessa, because why was she trying to push an agenda? Like, I don't understand why she went there to push an agenda. You didn't ask Jackie anything we needed to know. You are doubling down on Paul, whereas Paul explained a million times why Micah wasn't the one. Valid! I did feel like what he said at the at um on the last episode for the weddings where he was like he said all that stuff. I was like, Paul, oh, damn, you nasty. Why was you say that? He said I won't see I couldn't see myself marrying Micah even in ten years' time. I said, Paul, oh, 
Paul. The fact that they even were able to date after that, I'm like, Paul, uh, the Quinde off go. But either way, he explained, like, she's not a nurturing babe. He picked up on the vibes and said, this, this is not my wife. So why are you asking him to explain a million times? You know exactly what he's saying. Susan's a mungu. But anyways, all of that aside, I'm now watching Obsession on Netflix. I want to watch Succession as well, but I realize it's four seasons. Ain't no way I'm starting something that has four seasons during the week. So I'll start it on the weekend, maybe like Friday. But yeah, Obsession is about um, a dad who is in a relationship with his son's fiance, which is freaking insane. That's when I saw the, um, not the trailer, but you know the description? I was like, that's not even normal. <laughs> That is sick, but sign me up. I want to watch it. <laughs> Good morning in the mornings, my babes. Um, I think it's about the so last time my vlog was on a Wednesday, so today is Friday, so it's like two days a day after. Um, I woke up this morning and had to reshoot content because yesterday, guys, I was supposed to shoot this content yesterday. It's all over turn and I opened my black eyes, find out that there is no water in this place. And they're like, it was in the morning, maybe around nine. They were like, yeah, just two hours outage, we'll fix it in the next two hours. Tell me why that water only came back at like I'm gonna say it came back at like it was while I was already sleeping, so probably like nine, ten. I was in my sick era, like literally bendy sick, bendy nar, okay. But it ended up coming back really late. So obviously I did not have the ability to take out my cornrows, wash my hair, do all of that stuff. I ended up literally, if I could show you how I had to wash my hair yesterday, it was so freaking demoralizing. But anyways, it happened. I washed my hair and um, yeah, so then I ended up just filming this morning. I'm about to edit the content. It's about 10 o'clock right now. I didn't realize load shedding was starting at 10 today because the whole week it's been starting at 12. So I had to really, really rush to get this done. But it came out cute. I don't feel like it came out as nice as when I did it the first time, which I often feel like happens when I do reshoots. Like, reshoots just don't give as much as the first time. But you know what? It is what it is. It had to be done. Also, my hair was just like super fresh from a fresh relaxer. Like, the hair was giving. Now, obviously, I've manipulated my hair a whole bunch. Like cornrow taking it out of cornrows like i've done a lot of stuff to my hair since then and obviously like the ends are not as um they're not as like fresh as when i did my hair the last time because obviously it was straight from a cut like my hair was just looking 10 out of 10 minus nothing like now it's giving like seven six but anyways all of that aside today is, is today friday it is friday <laughs> today is friday y'all uh, i'm so excited mostly just to not have to work for like two three days i just love that for myself um i just uploaded a video to my reel so please go and check that out guys leave me a like leave me some love i filmed it yesterday basically now i'm just gonna edit the content and then after that i'm gonna go get my nails done because my nails i feel like literally you guys saw these nails in the last vlog which is embarrassing since i filmed that beginning part weeks ago but you know what they're not like terrible like they're not the most terrible thing you've ever seen in your life but for me like it's not looking good, bruv. So I'm gonna go do my nails. I'm gonna soak these off and do something completely different, which I'm super excited for. So you guys are gonna come with me. <laughs> As y'all saw, I've been I've been here for like three hours almost. So I was like, you know what, babe, just do the pretty whites, and I will come back the next time when I do my infill I will do the French. So she was like, that's fine. And also she had a client waiting for her, and it's a Friday. I was like, you know what? Let me be a good Samaritan today and say that like we can shorten my appointment because she'd already been waiting there for quite a while. And I was like, we still have to do. 10 fingers of French, baby, you're still gonna wait. You're still gonna wait. So, you know what? I said, let me be better. Let me help her out. Let me do her a solid. I just want to go home. I feel like there's gonna be traffic now. So, I'm probably just gonna stop over at Mackie D's and get myself some nuggets. 
um, as a snack because I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten literally since like 12 and it's literally 4 o'clock now. So, yeah. But I'll chat to you guys later, probably when we get home and figure out what this Friday is saying. <laughs> hey, get guys back home. What was the cost though of this week? What was the cost? Like this week had... It had hands. It was trying to box me. But anyways, we got a package. So I'm just going to open with you guys on camera. I'm so tired, guys. I found myself doing that thing. You know when your parents get back from work, like a long day of work, and then they just sit in the car? And you're like, dude, why are you sitting in the car? And I come inside and it just is like, I need a second to breathe. I need a moment to myself. Although I literally have like a million moments to myself. Like I just needed another one while I was in the car. Just to catch my breath. But anyways, this is a package from Benefit. We're gonna be doing a campaign together. Uh, period. I have a couple of packages that I'm waiting for, so I did not know which one this was, but it seems it's from Benefit. They've come up with a new um, pore range, like a skincare range for pores specifically, which I'm super excited to try out because obviously they do the poreless, um, they do the poreless uh, primer. Um, and I feel like their one is like the one that made Paula's Primes like really put them on the map. So I'm really excited to try this range. Um, I think I'm going to actually even start using it as early as this weekend. Just so that by the time I give you guys a review, it's a proper honest, like I can give you guys proper, proper insight into these products. This is how everything looks. I'm not going to post it for my IGs just because they'll get to see it. But, but I'm going to show you guys just because... Y'all my babes and I love you, period. <laughs> so the whole thing isn't really like, it's not like a bunch of like serums and stuff. It's basically a lot of it is like masks, maybe some cleansers. That's kind of the vibe. So here we've got um, a pore purifying foaming cleanser. It's called Good Cleanup. This is how it looks. Definitely check these out though, guys, if you want to get more information. Titan Tone Refining AHA plus PHA Toning Foam. So this is, I'm assuming, like the toner vibe. I should really just probably use these like the entire weekend just to see what the vibes are. Get Unblocked Pore Clearing Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. Now, this is the product that I'm most excited to try out because I love a good cleansing oil. You guys know that the Take the Day Off by Clinique has been my girl. So I'm excited to try something new. Um, Deep Retreat Pore Clearing Clay Mask. Keen to try this one. Guys, Self Care Sunday is about to go up because y'all know one thing about the products, they're going to get used on Self Care Sunday. Excuse me. All in one mask wand. Um, so this is basically just what I'm going to use to apply the mask super exciting then this is the smooth sip lightweight soothing moisturizer for pores period guys so excited to try all these products and as i mentioned i'm going to i don't think i'll give you guys a review in this vlog maybe in the next one once my content once my content has been posted okay um sorry i forgot to show you guys this quick smoothing pore mask another mask I'm in my mask era, skincare era. But yeah, what I was saying is that I'll probably just show you guys, if not, if I haven't filmed in the next vlog, I'll just give you guys an update in the next vlog. To let you guys know how it works, for me, mostly my pores are like huge right here. So I'm really excited to see how these products help. I always notice like when I'm wearing makeup and stuff that that is here is kind of where I suffer the most. And most people I feel like suffer the most with pores. So i'm going to be the guinea pig let y'all know how it works again okay. and if it's good we will definitely be letting y'all know so um for the next hour before load shedding i think i'm just going to clean up around my place because obviously i haven't had water for like 15 years okay 15 years so i'm going to just clean up wash some dishes um and also do I did a lot of it upstairs already, but I'm just going to just touch up my place. And then I think when low shedding hits, I've got low shedding for four hours, guys, six to 10, which is like basically my whole life. I think I'm going to go chill at the um, lifestyle center. I'm going to ask Kelly if she's like in the area so we can hang if she is. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm trying to go out. I'm still deciding like, do I want to leave the house? But like four hours of low shedding from six to 10 is like literally insane morning guys so it is saturday morning as you can see i've just wrapped my hair i'm just trying to set it because i've done that 
ponytail the same thing that i did yesterday really and truly today is a new day my sweet babes wow that's great today's a new day though um it is saturday as i've mentioned yesterday um i last spoke to you guys when we were doing that little unboxing nothing really came of yesterday if i'm being honest with you guys um i tried to go to the freaking clubhouse the hubby guy wasn't there so i was like mm, there's no point in me being here i may as well go to my apartment okay and order some food also because i'm really trying to not drink as much guys like i'm trying to i wouldn't say stop because i'm really not trying to stop like for the rest of my life party i'm trying to limit the amount of alcohol that i have and i'm also like sitting here and just like for the hell of it no hardly you're just sitting here to drink and eat like there's just no freaking need to do that so i went back to my place and then um i just chilled and i ate simply asia i was literally in lotion for four hours oaks and then i just went to bed which to be honest is not a bad idea considering i was tired as nuts i only woke up this morning at like half past nine which for me is quite late i normally wake up at half past seven um but i decided to sleep with my curtains closed i was like you know what dude and no regrets on my decision because i had a beautiful sleep woke up feeling refreshed and refined and rejuvenated and this morning i don't know why i'm missing these primers but you know what whatever let's see what it comes out with um i am going to it's not even in the morning to be fair it's the morning now but by the time i get to where i'm going it's not going to be morning zippy and i are going for brunch now the ogs will know zippy to be honest not even do you have to be an og yeah i feel like the ogs will know where she's like where we really met but zippy is my friend from varsity we literally met like day one of us being in varsity um and we lived together in 2020 during covid 19 um which was great but zippy moved to dubai she moved to dubai like the year that we were separating she was actually going to dubai she found out that she was going to dubai at the end of the year so she's back on a little work razzle so i was like baby let's hang out let's see each other because i remember she had come in a different time but i wasn't here or something oh she had come last year october but i was in i was in toyland so we didn't get to see each other so now she's here we're just gonna go to she wants to go to the local daily so i was like you know what to me it's your day whatever you want to do we're gonna do that i was at the local daily literally like two like a week before i went to cape town so I don't really need to go back there, but she wants to go. So I was like, you know what, Jimmy? Valid. So we're going to the local daily. Um, we were supposed to go earlier, but we're going to go now for like at one o'clock. So it's kind of going to be, I'm going to have breakfast to be fair. So I was going to say it's kind of going to be brunch. It's going to be brunch for me. I want breakfast. Sure. I've been thinking about bacon and eggs in my kanda, like the whole week. So I feel like that's what I need to have. And yeah, I'm finally doing it. Like, get ready with me with you guys because i've been giving it to the tiktok girls whenever i've been getting ready for stuff so i'm like you know what i'm actually depriving my people on the youtube so let me give you guys something sorry for that guys like it's not easy you know what i'm saying like it hasn't been easy but it's always been worth it you know what i just realized i forgot to do my eyebrows so this concealer is gonna sit on there for a while while i do my brows um, this is the refi brow sculpt guys. It's literally the girl she thinks she is. I don't even think I'm gonna fill in my brows today I think I'm just going to do this because I'm not trying to do anything Too crazy in terms of makeup. I just want to do something super chilled Because anyways, it's brunch. It's not like that serious. You know what I'm saying? Or I don't want to do anything wild and out but yeah, guys, I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys in a while. Like, just this chit-chat. And then most of you guys has to do with um, being busy aside. I'm really trying to build my other platforms. Like, I'm really trying to build my TikTok. Like, if you guys are not following me on TikTok, please follow me on TikTok at your earliest. Those girlies will know that, like, if I'm not vlogging on here, I'll be doing mini vlogs on there. So if you guys want to keep up with me when I'm not YouTubing please go and follow me there so it's kind of just a thing of me trying to split my time between all the different platforms that i have to manage and more than anything else since tiktok is my newest platform growing it is like my top priority right now because even now i've seen like with me really making an effort 
to put more effort into my TikTok. I have grown more of an audience on there, which I love. And I've also been getting like brand opportunities, which obviously, guys, is basically the premise of my JAB job. So, child, when it comes to making money, you know my head is gonna be in the game. So I'm gonna focus on it. So yeah, um, that's kind of been where my head's been at. But otherwise, I'm good. I am okay. It's just been a busy couple of weeks, um, which I kind of explained to you guys in the last video. It's just been a busy couple of weeks. I went home just to recuperate and just to catch my breath, which I feel like was a great decision. Although I feel like I, I want another holiday like right now. I do sometimes feel like when I go home, um, I like to... Well, not like to it just happens that you know obviously there's people there that want to see you that you want to see and you hardly get time to rest because of that fact because it's like if i go for a week i spend most of those days seeing people um which is kind of a lot um so i do feel like i'm going to soon just go on a holiday where i just don't see anyone don't talk to anyone just do a proper solo location i don't know if it's gonna be in joburg or somewhere else but i just need that because the candy's in my mail and not to say that in cape town i didn't get an opportunity to do that but you know that thing where it's like you're just visiting people and you just get carried away with the excitement of seeing people you haven't seen in a long time which was great i met up with deborah and i hadn't seen deborah for so 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 long so that was amazing um it was just really great guys like my trip home was great but we're back on the ground baby we're back on the ground work has picked up a lot as well so that is great and exciting um i love that for me um because honestly guys i love creating and i feel like i'm really getting into my creative bag this year so i feel like there's just a lot of things you can't do or are limited with doing when it comes to creating when you don't have certain budgets and things of that sort but i feel like i'm finally at a place where i can really get into my bag and do what i want to do so i'm really happy about that um and yeah guys i'm just in a great space um and really excited to see what the rest of the year holds for me but i also said to you guys that i was going to tell you what happened um <laughs> at our staycation which it honestly isn't anything that well you guys will be the deciders if it's that deep but it isn't the whole the whole weekend wasn't like awful like we had a good time as you guys could see from the snaps like we had fun we vibed out we were just having a ball but at the end is where i decided that you know what i can't share this place with people because if anything like this happens to them and i'm the one that shared the place with them i am gonna feel responsible and as i should because I would have given you guys the recommendation but basically all that happened was we'd gone out um and on the one day we came back it literally was the middle of the night it was like maybe 12 a.m and obviously when you're staying at a place um they're supposed to have people on guard security whatever 24 7 and we get there and literally nobody opened for us at the gates we stood outside for the longest time we were in an uber luckily um all our belongings and stuff were inside the place so we couldn't get anything out and we were kind of just stranded obviously the uber was like up oh, i have to leave and we ended up luckily like lindsay had her her keys with her cousin and honestly that was the only thing that saved us because had that not happened like what was going to be the plan going forward and so i was just really like taken aback by the situation so i was like you've invited us only for this to happen at the last minute and it might sound like a small thing but guys that was such a compromisation of my safety and of both of our safeties and we were just like mm, no like literally hell no so i let them know how i feel about everything but that's kind of why i wasn't feeling comfortable to share anything about that place with you guys because I had already shared on my Instagram and even then, like I deleted everything that I had posted. But obviously people had already seen because it had been a whole weekend. But whatever, bro. Like, if you want to go there, I'm happy for you guys to go there. It wasn't an all bad weekend, I'm not going to lie. But I just don't like things like that because you can't have that happen and then expect me to share. Because I'd be risking and putting my subscribers potentially in a compromising situation like the one that i was in and i don't want someone else to experience that which i think 
is valid and is fair but yeah that was it guys but other than that we had a great time we visited really great restaurants as well over the weekend we went to short market club which was really nice actually um it's a place that a lot of people speak about so and they're now really keen to try it and we tried it and we enjoyed it so that was greatly honors but y'all guys but yeah that was kind of it as far as that weekend goes i'm literally obsessed with this blush guys rare beauty needs to make themselves more accessible in south africa i think they need to be an arc what do you guys say rare beauty is literally selena gomez's um beauty line and i just love her products like celebrity makeup that's actually good is so impressive to me like fancy baby rare beauty baby what other brands are they that are celebrity is kylie good i don't know I don't know i've actually never used any of her stuff but when it comes to fenty and selena baby they're eating guys i always say i'm doing a chilled makeup look and it just sometimes doesn't end up to be the case but don't think that i don't want that to happen like at the bottom of my heart i want to give you guys a super duper clean girl aesthetic makeup but at my core i'm just not that girl i also deeped it the other day like someone was talking about um the clean girl aesthetic on tiktok and i was like i'm just not that girl like i'm not i'm not like a girl who's super minimalistic i'm a maximalist do you get what i'm saying like i feel like in my life i used to be like that um only wear you know like neutrals be really like muted in my style but i feel like since i've grown into myself i am also into trying new things even in my space like i feel like having a dull space and having a dull life in terms of color in terms of what's happening just really doesn't inspire me at all so it's never gonna be well let me not say never but right now it's not clean girl makeup it's not clean girl aesthetic it's chaotic girl energy it's you know lots happening it's fun it's free it's 20 you know it's vibes so yeah. even when it comes to my makeup i feel like i just even need to get that out of my mind yeah clean girl because baby it's not you and that's okay watch the other girls do how they do but it just it ain't you baby and that's okay your makeup is going to be camp a lot of the times and that's fine you know i do it for the girls who want to be camp because they should minimal there's nothing minimal about me i'm here Shh. guys another thing you need to get your hands on is this fenty bronzer and mocha mommy <laughs> she hates okay she hates but guys even this room that we're in in denzel in nebs i can't wait to declutter properly i also have a lot of things that i'm trying to sell or rather just get out of my house um my tv stand since i got a new one i'll be selling the old one um this thing behind me the little drawer situation that we have going on there i'm probably gonna sell that as well because i want to get a bigger one and what else what else oh my dining room set i'm gonna sell that because i need a rectangular one to fit my space so guys just look out for a bunch of these things if you are looking for furniture because i'm gonna be selling um, and not even for super expensive guys for super cheap because really my main goal is to get the stuff out of my house so that I can properly start um, Properly start redecorating like from scratch. I want to Really really put my all into decorating my place because really this is like a place I've wanted for the longest time and like all the space is just great so I want to figure out the best way to utilize it and I feel like the furniture that I have now is not utilizing the space to the best of its ability so it's gotta go it's simply got to go I'm very much on the fence about if I need to be wearing lashes or not I'm really trying to challenge myself to wear lashes less because I see other people do it and I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks amazing. But it's like, you can do it. You have the capacity to do it. So why don't you just put the lash down, bitch? But it's really not easy. I don't want to lie to you. It's not easy, you son. I'm just so used to myself with loud lashes. Yeah. So, and I miss my lash extension so much, but I'm just giving my lashes an opportunity to grow. 
to grow back. I don't know if I'm vibing with my eyebrows. It's just like I didn't uh, carve them out, bottom or top. I'm also like, you know what? It's a casual makeup look. Like, who's actually, who gonna shake me, boo? Uh, it is kind of making me feel like I should wear lashes, considering that dolls are like, they're not looking their best. Let's wear Miss Fenty. I'm gonna have to put something light in the middle though, because I literally, again, I'm so used to myself with 3D lips, like putting something, or like an ombre lip, putting something light in the middle and then working its way up to being dark. That like when I don't have that, I feel like I look insane. Nothing too hectic, but just enough to make me feel like myself. <laughs> you know these small little things that you do with your makeup that make you feel like yourself? Like for me, it's my highlighter i'm putting highlighter on my top lip highlighter or like something light in my inner corner i don't have that today so again not feeling like myself um and the ombre lip like without the ombre lip who am i is it even zx online for real is it even me and even when you get your makeup done by someone else like there's just certain things sometimes that i'll just put in because it just is my signature this is zx online's makeup g at me like yeah shouldn't have put this highlights under the brows but now i have to commit to it i'm afraid i want to have my journey guys that's actually my biggest concern right now because i wanted to wear something with a blazer but then again like i don't want to be like those other sissies you know i'm a sister when we blazer on the weekend you look like you're doing business casual at a, an event which guys this is not a base blazer hater account because I'm gonna buy a blazer for winter. It's just like sometimes the outfits, I'm like, this looks so serious and like, we're just having fun. Like we're just here for a good time. There's, there's no need to do all of that. <laughs> but yeah, I have literally one blazer that um, I wanted to style, but I'm like, I don't know. No, I don't know. I really don't want to look like I was this. So yeah, guys, my forehead looks so big. Do I need to put more bronzer on? Oh my God. Ah, uh, your spoons. Is that? No, guys. No. No. Okay, anyways, guys, I'll check back with you. What's this time? So I can charge my camera a little bit more. So that you guys are alive for the whole day. Let me sort out this forehead, child. Hello, guys. So I tried to put on some lashes. Then those lashes look like absolute dog poopy. So maybe it's just a further indication. Like, stick to your guns, baby. And don't wear lashes. Okay, so I'm going to put on these earrings. They're these... They look like the Bottega earrings. I call them my Bottega dupes. <laughs> Bottega dupes. So this is a nice little statement because my outfit is super simple. I'm just wearing these, this white top and then these Zara jeans, like super chilled. I'm deciding if I'm gonna wear sneakers or if I should just wear slides because guys, I'm a slides girl through and through. You guys should know this by now. That's why my toes always have to be done. <laughs> Because one thing about me is that I'm gonna wear slides. In terms of perfume, we're using this YSL perfume. I'm gonna put the name on the screen because for the life of me, I don't remember what it is called, cha. Okay. Then we are going to take Red Temptation because she is a part of the rotation for the rest of her life. Okay, jokes. I feel like I would like to try getting Baccarat. So I think she'll only leave when we actually get back around, okay? Then on my hands, I'm just gonna wear these rings. My other ring is downstairs, so I'm not gonna pick that up right now because I will get it when I'm leaving. I'm also gonna wear my Versace sunglasses just because I need something that is gonna distract from the fact that I have no lashes on. I need a sunglass. Like, that's what this look needs right now, so. so yeah, this is the look for today. Love it, very, very simple. Uh, guys, the lashes thing is throwing me off. Like, should I put them on or should I not? <laughs> okay, we'll decide. And then you guys will see when we're in the car. It was a time where you were on your own and you thought that I, oh yes, I wasn't holding you. Oh, I proved that I need you. Oh, darling. Come on, you try. You try. Okay guys, jump session over. Uh, we're in the car, decided to stick to the no lashes. Ah! But <laughs> we're going to stick with it. I'm going to choose confidence. 
I'm gonna choose confidence. But anyways, just got to Jumeli. I'm in the parking lot. I'm going to take Zupina and ask her where she is. It's like giving me party cloudy vibes. And considering I bought a whole entire vehicle, why did I pack a jacket? It's giving so irresponsible right now. My mom would be so ashamed of me because she's always on her, why don't you have a jacket era? And she's right, why don't I have a jacket? Anyways, all of the whiling aside, I'm gonna ask the B where she is because her South African number or South African iMessage is tweaking. I'm just gonna have to Instagram call her, which is so crazy because I hate Instagram calls because people do it so unsolicited all the time. But like, solicited gives time. Sorry, babe, but yeah, I'll see you guys inside. Sun Bonani, guys, I just did my full skincare. Skin is feeling great. I wasn't able to put on any of my serums though because after I did the vitamin C peel, they said like, don't put on any of your normal um, serums and stuff just as yet, just for at least seven days because obviously the vitamin C peel is still working and you don't want anything to interfere with it. So I literally just put on my cloud cream from Kiehl's just to moisturize my skin and I feel like we're looking good. But I'm back home. I It's about like... I want to say up is eight to nine. I'm going to sleep. I don't know if you want to watch um, this reality show, The Ballas. The reality show, I want to check it out. I think it's on DSTV. So that's what I'm going to get up to. Guys, I just want to say though, I got um, some extractions after my peel. And I will say they're all on this side. They've all like pretty much gone down. Like obviously extractions is they actually extracting. But normally when I've gotten extractions, they've left scars and i will say this is the first time i've gotten extraction and there's literally no visible scarring there's no bumps left like i'm really really impressed i would definitely recommend you guys go get um facials at the laser boutique i specifically go to the one in morning side i'm genuinely impressed because i was so scared when she was doing so i've had experiences where i've gotten extractions and like they've just left the biggest scars but she was saying like if you don't do it in like a controlled way that's when it'll normally leave scarring but yeah she did such a proper thing I am really happy with my results. In general, I feel like my skin just looks a lot more glowy. And I'm definitely going to invest more to products that really give me that glow. Specifically now because it's winter and it's going to be cold. Um, and Jubik is dry already. So important, Kelando, to give your skin layer radiance. But all that aside, guys, it was such a good afternoon with Zips and K. Like, excuse me, catching up is always 10, 10 minus nothing. But yeah. Tomorrow's a new day. It is Sunday. It is ZX Sunday at that. So let's sleep now so that by the time we get to tomorrow, we're up ready to edit and ready to get this vlog out. <laughs> Thank you.